We have a container filled with tap water, a glass bottle with ammonia gas, and a ring that will be positioned on the stand. We also have a small vial with the pH indicator, a spike assembly, and a small syringe needle with a dropper and a valve. Draw a small amount of water and close the valve by turning it to a position perpendicular to the needle axis. Next, pour the indicator into the water container. Remove the tape from the gas bottle, which indicates that it is a fresh, unused bottle. Take the spike assembly, close its valve, and place the rubber stopper all the way through one of the depressions. Next, insert the syringe needle into the rubber stopper and turn the bottle upside down through the ring so that the tubing is inserted into the water and touches the bottom of the container. Ensure that the ring passes the mouth of the bottle. We are now ready to perform the experiment. Open the valve next to the syringe needle and squeeze the water into the glass bottle and close the valve. Now, open the valve connecting the tubing and the gas bottle and observe what happens. Note the red color. Remove the bottle, remove the spike assembly and the syringe, remove the cap and the stopper. Place the pH strip indicator into the bottle and note the color change in the center of the strip. Compare the color that developed in the center to the numbered colors to obtain a pH reading. The reading here is approximately 11.